buying. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, look, smoking. Look, look, swearing. Look, look. All right, you've been warned because they're coming. Three, two, look, look, one. Buying. Welcome, everyone. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Look, look, we have a great one for you today. So, yes, we're going to have a light, easy one today. A light, easy one. There were some serious things to talk about, but eh, we'll hold that till next week, boys. I like to leave you on the weekends with some good news. So, so here it is. Uh, you guys all talked to me about it, and so we're going to talk about it. The Nike V-Chain collaboration. Nike and V-Chain have collaborated. It's a little gimmicky, and that's why it happened a few days ago, but I didn't talk about it because... Whatever, man. It's just a one-time gimmick thing, but whatever. Let's just do it. And then, now, this is the truth, though. Pension funds, crypto exposure. What I tell you, here come the pension funds. Here come the 401ks. Here comes it all. There's a big name. Big name doing it. So we're going to talk about that. And then finally, our favorite CEO around here, Mike Novogratz. Yes. We're going to talk to him and see what he's got to say about China and crypto. All right. So let's buy. Begin how we begin. Buying. Here's been a refresh. Buy. Yeesh. Yeesh. All right. So Bitcoin is at $8,865. And when I left you yesterday, we we're at 9054 so that's about a what, $150 drop, something like that. Right. Come on, man. Let's get over 10. Let's get over 10. So I want to see. All right. Look, look. Top 10 today, brothers. Usual suspects, brothers. Top 10. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Tether, Litecoin, EOS, Binance, Coin, Bitcoin SV, and Stellar. Still holding on number 10. Mark moves today, brothers. Single digits up, single digits down. Yes, indeed. What else is new? Single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits down. Two single digits up, two single digits down. All right, let's see who lost money today. If you see anything on here you like, you go get it because it is on sale. Bye. Look, look, top 10 loser of the day. Silverway, VeChain, Crypto.com, Coin, Luna, Crypterium, Synthetics Network, Bitem, Educare, Zilliqa, and Energy. Let's see who made money day. Top 10 gainers of the day. Bang. All right, DX Chain Token. Golem Aurora, Komodo Augur, Hedge Trade, Chiles, Carrot Gold Coin, Maker, and Ren. Let's look at total market cap of the day, brothers. 240.8 billion total market cap of the day. Hmm. All right, so we're going down. Uh, yesterday, when I left you, we were at 244.5. Like I said, when you're on the end of the week, you expect... Uh, uh, volume and stuff to go down in normal markets. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, so we went down. Let's call that, fuck it, let's just call that 4 billion down. Damn, 73.6 in volume today. Oops. Shit. So that's also down. But again, people cashing out over the weekend and whatnot. And when I left you yesterday, we were at, wait, is that 73 point? Oh, 73.5. All right, hold on. 73.5. All right. When I left you yesterday, we are at 76.6. So we went down $3.1 billion in total volume of the day. All right. 24-hour volume. All right. Look. All right. So this is just a little fun one. Bang. Travis Scott on track. Inspires a night collab powered by V-Chain. All right. So, you know, this isn't our normal V-Chain stuff. I know I said I was going to do that stellar story, but I'll do that next week. Uh, I'm not in the mood for that tonight. All right. Let's see what else V-Chain's up to. This is just gimmicky, but whatever. 
popping blockchain technology. You know, it's Saturday, so let's have a little fun show today. Pop and blockchain technology are colliding in a new collab. Travis Scott has inspired a limited edition with Nike. Melbourne-based designer Chase Shiel, not to be confused with Scott's DJ Chase B, and the Australian lifestyle community group The Kicks Stand. Consumers can track the new footwear, so there's a, there's a new shoe, dubbed AMI Travis Scott's Street and Superior, on VeChain, a public blockchain that reveals authentic information such as country of origin that can protect buyers and fans from scooping up fakes. All right. So these look like the shoes here. Big old swoosh. See the swoosh? Swoosh. All right. Kind of got a 70s look to them or something. All right. By using the VeChain app, consumers can instantly retrieve details from the blockchain, which contains an immutable, tamper-proof digital record of information for retail products. Shoppers can identify Travis Scott branding by scanning the tag the tagged shoes with their phones. Scan the phone, get the info about your shoes. According to the app, Chase's ethos is creative collaboration. And with this, he presents these extremely limited custom Air Max ones in cooperation with the Kicks stand. All sneakers are verified and powered by VeChain Toolchain. Yeah. Yes, VeChain empowered shoes, <laughs> like the beef. So, the Houston rap star has a long history with footwear. His hometown inspired Nike Air Force One will drop on November 16th. Bang! Replied Sneaker News. Bang! Chase B. Scott's DJ recently appeared on YouTube Soul Collector to talk about the latest inspirations. He's known Scott since he was a nice, since he was nine. And says the globe trotting duo are always on the hunt for sneakers. Knock. When asked about a store, Chase B says it's says it's coming. Anyway, man, the guy's gonna start a clothing store. I guess this is the guy right here. Anyway, whatever, man. Look. All right. V chain is gonna be used. You scan your shoes right here. Boop. The very limited edition, these ones here. You scan them. Actually, where's a better picture right here? Boom. Scan those bad boys, and you will have all the information you need about your V-Chain empowered shoes. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right. Look, look. Now, let's talk a little bit of money, money, money. What I tell you guys? This is where the real, this is where your real amass adoption is coming from. Pension funds, 401ks. Holy, wait till Fidelity gets here. And wait till the name, oh, here's the name right there. Morgan Creek, baby. Bye. Already adding it to their pension funds. Now, it's only 1%. That's only 1%. But imagine this. Imagine Fidelity decided, hmm, we're going to allocate 1% of our clients' money to crypto. Well, uh, it's a $5.2 trillion company. 1% of $5.2 trillion, what is that? How many billion, how, what is that, $500 billion? <laughs> that's, that's five times bigger than this whole market already. Just food for thought, just food for thought, not saying it's going to happen. But it could happen. Look, all right. So, pension funds double crypto asset exposure in Morgan Creek's fund to 1%. So, it's only 1% of the fund. But this is what I'm talking about. Here come the pension funds. Here come these other funds. Remember, a market, all that sexy stuff that moves up and down, that's only this. A real market is the unsexy stuff. All the funds. All you guys in your 401ks and that. Yeah, that's what makes up our stock market. Yeah, your 401k, your pension fund, your your child's savings fund and all this kind of stuff. That's what our market is. All this up and down every day, eh, it's just cowboys like me going in and out, day trading, whatever, you know? But that's the real power of your market is these funds. And that's what really, it's unsexy, but that's what really is going to give the, the meat. That's the meat of the market. That's the foundation of a market, right? When your market crashes, yeah, that's just this part crashing, right? In a market like this, remember I told you these guys are the traders? Yeah, that part's crashing. That stays solid. Yeah, your 401k in that, they're not buying and selling. They're not weak hands. They're, they buy and hold that forever. Right? If you're in some 401k, I don't know, let's say it's some tech 401k. Right? So it's got Microsoft, Facebook, I don't know, Cisco and Uber. Yeah, well, once your 401k buys that, yeah, they don't sell it. They just hold it forever. So that's why it, the price can never really drop below what the Cowboys are doing, you know? All right, anyway, man. Let's just move on. Let's make this one a quickie. Let's make tonight's show eight, today's show eight quickie. 
Not going to get into too much yap yap today. Although, as you can see, sometimes I can't resist. All right. So let's check out what Morgan Creek's up to. Morgan Creek Digital now takes up around 1% of the assets of two Fairfax Retirement System pension funds, an investment which has more than doubled since taking their first position in the fund that closed in February. Two of the three pension funds under the system from Fairfax County, Virginia, the police, so here, here's what are in the funds, or here's the funds they went into. In Virginia, Fairfax County, Virginia, the police officer's retirement system and employee's retirement system invested 55 million oh, okay hold on invested 55 million in Morgan Creek's second fund in October the new allocation came after seeing so it's the police fund and and a retirement thing all right um from Fairfax Virginia <sighs> retirement funds that's what I'm telling you guys the new allocation came after seeing good preliminary results from the first fund in part because of the performance of crypto which makes up 15% of the Morgan Creek's, inv Morgan Creek's investment. Uh, the majority of the fund's positions are in blockchain-related infrastructure companies. Uh, the final close for fund one was only in February of this year, and it is a short time frame, admittedly. It's a short time frame, admittedly. Catherine Moin Moinair, Moinar, Chief Investment Officer of the Police Officers Fund, told Coindesk, it's gone well. And part of that is because of Morgan Creek's decision for how they've timed buying Bitcoin. The liquid part of the fund has done quite well based on how they've timed ramping that up in the portfolio. Yeah, probably started buying in Q1 this year. The police officer's pension fund contributed $22 million of the investments while the county employees fund put in $33 million. Monair said $50 million of the investment went to the second fund raise while $5 million was a separate co-investment in a specific undisclosed project at Morgan Creek. All right. So those figures represent around 1.5% of the police officer's fund. Uh, 2018 total assets. So you see the cops, they put in 1.5% into crypto. Now it's only 1.5%. But look, it's the beginnings. Beginnings of the funds starting to creep in. And around 0.8 of the county employees fund went in there as well. All right. So for context, both pensions normally put up around 2% of their assets in a new investment. All right. So this time around, convincing the board to re-up the investment was easier than taking the initial stake. So they made the initial purchase, and they had to tell the board of directors, come on, come on, let us, and she's saying it's easier this time. So Monair said, we didn't have to do a lot of extra explanation or discussion, and people are generally pleased with the way the performance is off to a good start. It was a much easier legal process because the lawyers did a good job in the first contract. So, blah, 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 once they got it done, doing it the second time was easy. All right, come on, man. Let's, let's get out of here. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Since. All right. So let's just go right, right to the bottom. Let's forget all that. We're looking for disruptive innovation. Anything that can be negatively correlated to other things we own, Speller said. So if we own a bunch of banks, this is a way to hedge against their monolithic and slowing process, slow moving process. All right. So what she said there was like they're just starting to get into crypto. If you want to read the whole article, you know, I put the, the links for them there. But what I want to show you is just pension funds. Real pension funds. That's the Fairfax Police Officers Fund went in and their employees fund. And they did it through Morgan Creek. Wait till Fidelity gets here. Look, look. Then that's what I'm talking about. That's the real juice. That's the real stuff, boys. Yeah, funds. Funds don't go in and out of crypto. They don't, they're not weak hands. Yeah, they buy and hold it forever. <laughs> forever. And that's where the meat of your market is. Not this stuff. But the unsexy stuff, your funds. So look, let's move on. China, bang. Let's see what Novogratz says. Novogratz says China's president, Xi, has credentialized cryptocurrency, says Novogratz, which is what I've been telling you. 
what I like about Novogratz is I tell you something, and then about three weeks later, Novogratz will say the same thing. <laughs> so he kind of backs up what I tell you guys. Look. Oh, did you guys see this? Look at this. Backed Bitcoin futures trading volume. Just hit another all-time high. Hmm. Anyways, let's move on, though. Look, China's President Xi Jinping <laughs> gave credibility to blockchain and crypto by calling the country to accelerate blockchain adoption, said Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz. The cryptocurrency investor delivered his remarks speaking at the Reuters Global Investment Outlook 2020 Summit in New York on November 5th. She just, de uh, she just, little, little, she just credentialized crypto and blockchain. My, what I've been telling you. I mean, it's one thing. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Ha! But it's a whole other thing when Xi Jinping says, look, look, we're blockchain, bitch. Bye! Now you've all got to catch up, right? It's one thing just to regulate Zuckerberg. No, you're not allowed to do that, right? Give him a slap on the wrist. Naughty, naughty boy. It's a whole other thing when Xi Jinping... <laughs> The head of China says, look, look, we're in. Well, you can't stop that. <laughs> you can't stop it. He said so. Look. So Michael Novogratz, founder at Crypto Invest. And so which makes uh, makes everyone catch up now. Anyways, Michael Novogratz, founder of crypto investment bank Galaxy Digital, a major Bitcoin bull, believes that the Chinese president's announcement in late October triggered the recent surge in Bitcoin's price. Absolutely did. By urging China to embrace blockchain technology for the sake of the country, she just credentialized crypto and blockchain, Novogratz stated. Exactly. Exactly. He just said we're going full blockchain. So if you had any doubts, or if you're a politician out there, or you're someone out there, and you had any doubts about blockchain or crypto, you can forget all that. You can forget all that right now. On October 24th, she expressed his positive stance on blockchain technology at the Politburo Committee session on blockchain technology trends. The president emphasized that the adoption of integrated blockchain technologies is key to promoting tech innovation and industry transformation. So, China opened to the industry after years of skepticism. Subsequently, Chinese state publication The People's Daily reportedly clarified that Beijing's positive stance on blockchain technology should not be interpreted as support for cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Yes, I told you about that. China is the blockchain, not Bitcoin uh, country they used to be. But remember, now they're coming out with that list every month of 35 blockchains, crypto blockchains, tokenized blockchains, which they think are worthy, right? And so I guarantee you, don't worry about that. Uh, those will be being traded in China soon. Plus, remember, uh, uh, VeChain and that one other company, that mail thing, yeah, they're approved in China. So all is good. All is good. But they were like that. They were, back in 2014, they were like, yeah, we love blockchain. We cannot stand Bitcoin. I told you guys about that. Despite the agency's warning on speculation, China has just made another step in favor of cryptocurrencies on November 6 by confirming that Bitcoin mining will, be in, will not be an undesirable industry in the country. We read about that. They're not going to phase out uh, the mining, which obviously means, well, they're down. China's U-turn comes months after the National Development and Reform Commission of China revealed its plan to eliminate crypto mining in the country. They were going to, and then they reversed it, right? We read about that, what was that, yesterday? A couple days ago. Uh, while cryptocurrency trading is still formally banned in China, the Standing Committee of the 13th National People Congress in China passed a new crypto law on October 26th, that will take effect on January, 20, uh, January 1st, 2020. The new legislation stipulates new standards for the application of cryptography and the management of passwords in the country and implicitly relates to cryptocurrency regulations. So January 1st, 2020, bah! China's regs come into full force. In late October, an exec at the Chinese economics think tank, China Center for International Economics Exchanges, predicted that China's central bank will be the first to launch a digital currency successfully. Actually, that's wrong. Someone just launched uh, a cryptocurrency today, a country in Africa. Who did it? Hold on. Let me see if I got it. Ah, I didn't save it. Yeah. I think it was Nigeria. But anyways, yeah, today. Yep. Yeah. But anyways, we'll talk about that next week. Look, look. So, like I said, bang, bang. When China came out, that made everything super legit, and now everyone's got to catch up. It was one thing if you wanted to just ban Zuckerberg, you know, make a little regulation to ban his thing. You can't stop China now, and everyone's got to catch up. So, 
Uh, you got to regulate, regulate, regulate. Legislate, legislate, legislate. Look, look. Bang. All right, let's get shout outs. Bang. Yes. Ricardo Tuto. Bang, brother. See you, brother. Bang. Benny, everybody. See you, brother. Bang. Oh, my lordy lord. He says, empowering big corps to, oh, virtual bank like status. Uh, I smell major disruption in the horizon. Real clash of the titans. Some cannibalism soon. Step yourselves in. Strap yourselves in. It's coming. <laughs> All right, Binium, calm down, brother. They're just making sure that they they make the money for the money uh, for the you know for the money stuff, <laughs> not someone else. They're just keeping the money inbound. All right, CB News source. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes, Tunisia issued a central digital coin. Yes, today. So that this story right here said China will be no no no. Tunisia did it today, and they actually did the first money transfer from their central bank to the IMF. Yeah, I was thinking of reading it, but it's not really about our money, right? It's just a stable coin. And so to me, these these country central bank digital currencies, I don't really give a fuck about them. So what? All they're doing is digitizing your money. I mean, your money is already digital. All they're doing is putting it on a blockchain now. Like, so what? You know, so what? Right? When I was a kid, they digitized our money. That's how we have ATM machines, right? So uh, everyone, uh, you know, in this crypto land, oh, yeah, Yes, central bank money. It's already central bank money, fuckstick. It's just going to be on a blockchain now, really. There's nothing different. <laughs> you know, your GDP is still going to be your GDP of your country, so settle down. Look, CB News, I see YMI. Another crypto derivatives exchange. Oh, that's what we, oh, we read this yesterday, yeah. That was the, um, what was the name of these guys again? What was the name of this shit? Tassat, yeah, Tassat, Tassat got the uh, CFTC green light, and uh, there it goes. We read about that already. All right, look, site's done right. What are you talking about, buddy? It's exciting times for small biz. Site's done right is the go-to hub platform for startups, SMEs looking to pull traffic and get some leads and close and close more business. Bang! All right, Benham, what is he talking about now? China is preparing the digital foundation for the next economy. PBOC's Digital Currency Research Institute signs a deal with telecom giant Huawei, Huawei <laughs> for fintech research. Yep, they sure did. All right. CB News. Does anybody know if Singularity Net and oh, oh, this thing? No, man. Singularity Net. I know what you're saying here, Bidium. But yeah, they're just in the same conference. They're just going to speak at the same place. It doesn't mean that they're doing business with with Huawei. They're just they have representatives speaking at the same conference. CB News, China's moving super fast. Oh yeah, this shit is real though right here. Tencent Global is building a blockchain-based virtual bank after receiving the green light from the Hong Kong Securities and Financial Commission. Yeah. Tencent's going to have a a virtual bank. Um I don't know if that's like the thing we read the other day where remember I read to you about that that the bank in the UK? Remember they're going to be a full blockchain bank? Where was that? Anyways, where was that? Oh, man, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, the UK. That was on, on uh, the second. I, I read to you about that bank that's going to run on Factum. Yeah, a blockchain bank. So, ah, well, here comes another blockchain bank right here, virtual bank. Um. Yeah, Tencent's going to run that. Whew. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, and then Binium said about that, and I know the backed thing. Backed had a record 1,756 1, uh, Bitcoin futures contracts traded today. Bang. Or yesterday, I guess, as you're listening to this. So look. Bang. Brent C. Spy lady. Love you, lady. See you, lady. Bang. What do we got? Hurricane master. Ha, <laughs> ha. Bang. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang. Sweetie. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Yes. Bang. What'd she say? Ooh, juicy. <laughs> this is grand. All right. Bobbed. Bang. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang. Yes. The tincture master. <laughs> Brewing it up. Son of a bitch. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. 
Bye. Urgh, got you. Love you, Ron Cass. See you, brother. Bobby Hardaway. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. We did Ricardo. All right. All right. Just a couple more then. Slappy McFartsack. Bye. See you, brother. You wrote something. Oh, this is it. He said, VET is not just for breakfast anymore, <laughs> baby. <laughs> bang. Good one. Yeah, it's not just for breakfast anymore. All right. Just a few more. Wade, one, two, three. Bang. Kong. Bitcoin Kong. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Rob Ert. <laughs> Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang. And one last one. Ryan. Bang. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's get the weekend going. Bang. And bang. Yes. All right. So good little show. Nothing special. I didn't want to get too serious tonight. There was some serious shit to talk about, but we'll do that next week. I just felt like leaving it on a happy note today. So look, Nike V Chain. Well, it's always happy, but yeah. You, know, you know what I mean. Nike V Chain collaboration. Well, yeah, they got the specialty shoes, the Nike Air Force Ones there. It's just a little gimmicky gimmicky thing, but whatever, man. It's V Chain and yeah, you know, it's doing something. All right. Pension funds, crypto exposure now. Yes, yeah, Morgan Creek coming in. Told you. It's the beginnings. That's the beginnings of the funds. That's your market. That's what's traded. That's the power. That's the power of your market. That unsexy stuff. Just those 401ks and pension funds. Just hodling. <laughs> Just hodling hard. Look at it. Here it comes. All right, then. Mike Novogratz said, trying to credentialize crypto. Well, what have I been telling you? So I want you to hear it from the mouth of a CEO. Boom. So there you heard it. Bang. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's make this quick. Let's shill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Bang. Subscribe below. Press the bell. You get automatic notification when I do this show. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. Look, look. My name is Shamara Cluck. Love talking money. Love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. So thank you for having me in your home. Have a great weekend. Enjoy it with your family and loved ones. And I'll see you on Tuesday. So look, look. Until then, look. My name is Shamara Clark. Bang. And I'm always on duty. Yes, indeed. Look, look. Yes. Over and out.